day. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. I'm really excited to bring you today's video, which is our curriculum review for 2020. These are all books that I've bought to review for myself, to decide what I'm going to use for the kids for this year. And I thought, well, while I've got all these books, before I return them, before I return the ones I'm not going to use, I will share them with you so you can make a more informed decision if you are wanting to use any of these curriculums for your children this year. So we have five types of books to show you. They are all readily available on Amazon and I've put the links to them down below. Now they are affiliate links. Without further ado, let's get on and start with number one. Number one is the Comprehensive Curriculum of Basic Skills. It's an American curriculum, so there will be some things to replace. As you can see from the front, there's gonna be dollars. There's about 10 pages of money to replace. And there's no science. It's incredibly colorful. Um, with all these lovely pictures. The English, it's very English language and writing heavy. Um, and it, it's about 11 99 on Amazon. There are some bits that aren't very colorful like this, but they do have a picture on almost every page. Uh, the the writing really isn't very, it's not um, age inappropriate, it's very appropriate for the age group. Second, this in this case second grade. As you can see there's um, money that you'll need to replace, but there's about 10 pages and you could easily pick up um, a money workbook from somewhere like Poundland to make up for that. So I really like the comprehensive curriculum book. I think it's a great, they're a great set of books. We've used the preschool and the kindergarten books before um, and the kids really, really enjoyed them. They were really basic and as we don't do any formal schooling until they're seven, um, they're really, really good for us. Um, I think that the older they get, they get incredibly, they, go, they jump very quickly from being oh this is so light and fun to you've got a lot of writing to do and personally that doesn't suit um, especially that book it doesn't suit Charles which is who that book would have been for um, so we will be returning that one because the second grade book is just not right for my child who is doing the second grade level work um, so that one's going back I would still recommend it if your child isn't bothered about the fact that there isn't pictures on every page and that it's very writing heavy Number two is the big second grade book by School Zone. School Zone do a variety of books from preschool all the way through the grades, and they also have this great online curriculum called AnywhereTeacher.com. Um, I have tried it out before when the kids were on the kindergarten books, when Charles was on the kindergarten books, and I think we liked it, but I don't quite remember. Um, again, it's American, it's an American book. It is still mostly in line with the national curriculum though, they're not that dissimilar, so you don't need to worry too much. Um, it does have American money, so you will need to replace that. It can be very wordy in some places and and not have it doesn't have a lot of pictures on all of the pages much like the comprehensive curriculum but it is a bit brighter on um, the writing pages than the comprehensive curriculum and um, there's a right, wide range of activities it's really not just you know it's really not just writing it's it's got a wide range of everything um, and there's some really good science in here. It's not just maths and English. There's also science in here and it's a really great price at the moment on Amazon. It's $7.93. I love the School Zone books. I love that they have an online platform to complement it. I love how colourful they are. I love that it's, you've got English once they get to a certain grade, they have English, maths and science all in one book. Um, yeah. I love these books, but we're not using this because the only reason we're not using this, and this is one that I bought ages ago in preparation for this year, is because we found one that we liked better. So that's a little that's a little clue uh, from the up from the from one of my upcoming videos, which will be our curriculum choices for this year, and that is that we are not using the big second grade school zone book. However, I I'm not using it for Charles, who's doing second grade work this year. Um, I will save it for Bessie or Albert though because I think one of them is gonna really like it. Number three are British curriculums. They are by CGP. 
Now these are the English and Maths targeted study and question books and they are for year two because that's the level of work that um, Charles is working on um, and that's what I'm looking for at the moment because I have books for Bessie already. So these together, these are $4.95 each, available on Amazon or straight from the CGP website. The CGP website is very, very quick turnaround if you order before a certain time. They usually arrive next day and there's no extra cost. Um, I really like these books because they have an assessment at the start and an assessment at the end to make sure that your kid, your child is progressing nicely. Um, and ready for the next one. They also have a textbook page and a workbook page, so there's not loads and loads of stuff to do. Um, it, my, prob my only problems with them are that they move on to the next topic quite quickly. It's the answer page in the middle there for maths. Um, yeah, they move on quite quickly and I'm not a huge fan, like you've got numbers to 100 here writing, but if your child if you're using this as your main curriculum and your child is only just learning these, you're going to have to do more work to get them to do it, or you're going to have to repeat it. Um, my children hate repetition, it drives them insane, so if your child hates repetition too, these are not going to be the books for you, because unless you have these and accompany them with other books from the series, you're not going to have enough um, to do the whole curriculum. Um, if you're backing it up with some online platform or other books from the CGP series or other books from another series, then you've, you can quite easily build a full curriculum, but they are, I wouldn't say that these two books on their own are suitable for a whole English and Maths curriculum. Um, you're going to need to support that learning. Uh, they're very colourful. The textbook pages, I really like them, and obviously they have English money in, British money in, so you don't need to worry about replacing it. However, I would consider um, getting a book like this for um, that was maybe more money based from CGP just so I could have the money aspects of it and then using another curriculum. Um, if you bought, I've worked out before that for year two for example if you bought out, the, bought out all of the books you would need to create a full curriculum for English, Maths and Science then it's going to cost you about £40 for the year. Um, now compared to some companies that are charging to build a curriculum for you for a year, that's nothing isn't it? But um, obviously compared to other books when you could just get everything in one go, it's quite expensive. So CGP, I really like CGP books, I have absolutely nothing against them. My only issue is that you have to buy so many and when you're homeschooling on a budget like we are, having to buy like 10 different books to fill up a curriculum is really really annoying, it's really expensive and I would rather just add things to an American curriculum like these ones um, with a really really cheap book or some worksheets online from things like Twinkle that I'm already subscribed to and not actually worry about, um, about having all of these different books. I also find, especially with our neurodiversity in our family, remembering which book we're doing and what days we're doing this and how which pages we need to complete of which book. When we actually tried to plan it all out when we used CGP last year, it was so labour intensive trying to work out what complemented which because the pages don't match up. Um, I was exhausted doing it, Phil took over and then because I hadn't done the planning myself, I didn't understand the plan and it just all got too much and we just didn't enjoy it anymore. So I think CGP is great for say reception year or if your child is older and is having loads of different subjects. They're also great as revision guides to complement actual schooling in schools. Um, whereas I don't think they're great um, home education books if you're solely using them. I think they are great to complement other things but as a whole curriculum they're not my favourite ones. However, saying that, CGP has amazing customer service and if you do want to buy books from them, they're really, really great um, to chat to you on the email, they reply really quickly, they're really helpful, um, they have discounts for people who are home educating, they have, um, like, and that discount is running all the time if you're buying loads of books, they have really, really fast shipping and they have really good, it's a really good price shipping as well. So if you are, if you want to have, if you're happy having more than one book, CGP is a really, really good choice, and they're a really, really great company to order from. Number four is another American curriculum, and it's one that I found for the first time this year, and it's called Highlights. This is their second grade big fun workbook, and it has so many things. As you can see there, you have reading, writing, addition, subtraction, measurement, map skills, and more. Um, there is an achievement certificate, there's also online activities, and we really, really like this book. 
and the whole point, the whole philosophy is learning through humour and games and puzzles. So as you can see here, you've got some reading and some writing work, and then to balance it out, you have a joke at the top, and it says, "What silly things do you see?" So, you know, there's a giant tennis ball. There is a snowman on the beach. There's a gap here in the umbrella, which is just really silly. This person has water going all over them. That that lighthouse is showing stars. There's an elephant in the sea. There's a fish making a sandcastle. It's absolutely nuts. But um, when we, Phil and I were looking through this, we really, really enjoyed looking through it ourselves. And this was a very, very close second to the curriculum that we ended up choosing. We really, really like this curriculum. It's really, really sweet. It also has um, American money in it, so you will need to replace a few of those things. But I mean, look, Pete edition on pizza. It's really, the borders make it really colorful, the pictures and the games make it really, really fun. And I really, really love this book. I loved the highlights book. I really, really enjoyed going through it and I thought to myself, oh, I want to do the, all the puzzles and the games in here. I thought they were really, really fun. Um, and I really think that my children would love that book. Um, they only go up to second grade though. They do a preschool, a preschool, pre-K, a kindergarten, a first grade and a second grade. I have not been able to find any levels higher than that. If you know the books and you know that there's a higher level, please tell me because I think they're fabulous. It was £9.21 on Amazon. This is the fifth and final book. As it says, it's called Brain Quest. A whole year of curriculum-based exercises and activities in one fun book. It has stickers, it has a map of the United States. It's loads of stuff. So we really like it because it starts slow and it builds, it gets slowly harder from the, from, from the beginning. It just slowly eases them into the curriculum. It has really, really beautiful cursive, if I can find that for you, really beautiful cursive. And it has sentences for them to write at the bottom, it's not just letter practice. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it has a good amount of maths, which also starts slow and builds up. Um, again, really colourful, has like extra activities and explains things, um, really cute pictures. That also the pictures seem to be reasonably diverse as well. There's people with glasses. There seems to be um, people of colour. Uh, there's a wide range of animals as well. There's a science area. You also have social skills. Um, there are several pages to replace that are about money, um, but again, it's not a problem really because you have so many resources out there to to do that from. Um, it has stickers in the back, reward stickers, and it even has a really colourful map of the United States. Um, it's not something that we are focusing on because we obviously are British, but uh, it's really, really interesting to have a look at. It also, we love Brain Quest, and I bet you can't guess which one we have chosen for this year. It's highlights of Brain Quest. I'll give you a clue. Um, we really, really like Brain Quest and we're using the summer books at the moment um, to try them out. They are amazing. They have these really cool progress maps that you pull out and then each activity you do, you get a sticker and then you put it on the map. They have a re-summer reading list, which I've tweaked a bit because I felt that some of the book choices weren't really my cup of tea. Um, and they also have the Brain Quest cards inside the book. So there's a select, small selection of them, which I'm using for assessment purposes. Um, I really, really enjoy the summer books. This was my curriculum review for 2020. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my videos. I post every Monday and I can't wait to share my next video with you. Bye. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. Place where we don't know oh, about to see the world in action. What we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Oh, take my hand, we'll make it somehow.